Now coming to advantages of accounting. When we prepare accounts, we need to keep proper and systematic records of all the monetary transactions, the supporting documents, the vouchers, get it signed by the proper authority. So that's one big advantage of accounting. So another advantage is ascertains profitability of the business. As we have seen earlier, we need to prepare financial statements to ascertain profit and loss and the financial position of the business. So that's another advantage. Helps the management in controlling the business performance. Like when we prepare accounts, there are a lot of information which comes to the knowledge of the management and it helps them in deciding how the business is performing and what kind of controls they need to implement. Then helps in comparing the results with previous years and also with the other entities in the industry. When we are running a business, we need to see year after year where we are heading to, whether we are achieving our objective of improving the profit line or the profit numbers or the profit percentage which we call profitability. So when we prepare these financial statements year after year, after a few years it helps us analyzing what is the progress of the entity or the business. Then we need to also compare our profitability or the financial position with the other entities in the same industry, whether we are earning the same kind of profit margins like others in the same industry or not. So the financial statements helps in comparing with other entities as well. Helps different users in decision making. We have already discussed this point in objectives. Can be used in legal matters as evidence. When we prepare financial statements following certain rules and guidelines and pay our taxes based on that, it becomes an authentic document, especially if it is audited and signed by the auditors. So it also helps in legal matters as a very good evidence. It helps in proper valuation of business. When we discussed the financial position, one of the point we discussed in objectives was determining financial position. So when you prepare the financial position of a business, it says what is the exact position of the business on that particular day. When we say position, it means what are the total assets of the business, what are the total liabilities of the business, how much are the reserves. So it gives the proper valuation of business and the information from this financial position helps in doing various kind of ratio analysis and other analysis for valuation of the business. Now the limitations of accounting. Though the process of accounting has evolved a lot, still it has its own limitations. Like it cannot record non-monetary transactions. When you talk about accounting, it starts with accounting entry. and no accounting entry ca can be done without a monetary value or figure. So the accounting cannot capture non-monetary transactions. Similarly, it cannot measure qualitative aspects of products, policies, management and workers. Like it can capture information, how many units of a particular product was sold, at what price it was sold, but it cannot capture whether the quality of the product was as per the standard or not. Then it relies a lot on estimates. There are situations where we need to make certain estimate or follow certain method based on some assumptions. So these estimates or assumptions may be unrealistic. Then the transactions are recorded at cost it does not reflect the change in price level. Like it may not be very prudent to compare the sales made in year 2000 with the sales made in 2010 as the sale price per unit must be different. Then another limitation is 
while preparing accounting statements the accountant or the management needs to choose from various methods of depreciation or the stock valuation and these decisions influence the preparation of entire financial statement 